We were at the water dam when I saw the dog. I had actually seen the whole scenario unfold. The poor thing was just trying to cross the dam and get to the other side, but instead he was tossed and turned by the water like he was in a washing machine. All I can say is that it was a miracle that he ended up finding shelter on a rock, but the bad part was that he was stranded right in the middle of the water dam and that wild torrent just surrounding him. The water was super rapid all over the place. All he could do was stay put on that rock. And I mean, this was risky for myself too. The water had just too much pressure. One slip is all it takes to kill someone in this dam, but as an owner of two dogs, I just couldn't let this dog get hurt. I, I called my friend over to come fast with a rope. So I held on to one end of the rope, and my friend who was waiting on shore held on to the other end of it, which would also aid in pulling us back out of the water. Finally, it was just such a relief when I got to the dock. When I was close enough, I could hear him barking and crying. He was just so scared. So I petted him just to make sure he felt safe and so that you know he knew he could trust me. I managed to pick him up in one hand while grasping the rope in the other and slowly, gradually just making our way back out. The water was not too deep, but the rocks beneath the water were super slippery, so I had to take uh, very careful steps. I had to just be very mindful about every single step. The dog was so patient the entire time. He thankfully knew that he was safe in my arms and he trusted me and he didn't struggle at all, which made it a heck of a lot easier. Going back was even more difficult, uh, trying to place my feet safely so the water wouldn't knock me right off my feet. And I was so concentrated on not losing my footing while going over this fast flowing flood water. Every second felt like minutes during that rescue operation, but when I finally made it back to the shore, the first thing I did was hand the dog over to my friend James. And when I got out and tried to give him a pat, he only went and tried to bite me. Uh, I knew if I had slipped in this water, it would have been the end for me, but I was just so determined to save this dog's life, and, and I felt confident that I could get us both to safety, and, and I can safely say it's, it's been the best thing I have ever done. <laughs>